So in the last episode, you guys witnessed my last game of my career, and it was the Rose Bowl against the University of California, and this was pretty exciting all along. We prepared well all week long, and you know, going into my last game, I definitely wanted to go off on a good note. So preparing every night, practicing every night, this game definitely meant a lot for me. Because not only were the coaches out there watching for the NFL, but also my parents were also in the stands. So, you know, I had to show them a little something. Started out the game in the first quarter. Wildcat. And this one, I took it to the house for the first touchdown of the game. And that right there obviously made a statement. Broke all sorts of record in this game as well. And here in the second quarter, right before the half ended, quarterback option right here and the quarterback pitches it to me for another touchdown and right before uh, should I say in the third quarter we have another touchdown right here this time I broke a couple of tackles and I took it to the house and that was pretty much all we needed it was a pretty disappointing season because we didn't after all make it to the national championship and my guy also didn't win the Heisman but we did come up big in the Rose Bowl as we defeated Cal 28 to 35 and at the end I was stuck. What do I do next? So, obviously, I decided to export my guy into Madden. But, I will only be playing one game just for you guys to see how my guy would do or what team he's going to go to. Now, the reason why I'm not going to continue this into Madden is because I started this series pretty late. And, uh, as you guys know, in July, NCAA 13 comes out. So, since that game is going to come out pretty soon, I'm not going to continue with this series. And instead, I'm going to finish up the other series on my channel that way, I am prepared to start NCAA 13. So, once NCAA 13 comes out, I will definitely, you know, play all four seasons and send the guy into Madden and then play in the Madden game as well. Because, in my opinion, uh, the Superstar mode in Madden 12 was really disappointing. And I'm sure a lot of you guys that played it uh, pretty much know that this game mode is one of the worst. And it gets pretty boring. So, it'll be a pain in the butt to actually play, play this. So, I decided to go ahead and change my accessories before I head into the draft. And the funny thing was, I didn't even know where to go to do the draft. Um, and you guys will find that out in a second. So after I finalized my accessories, as you can see, going into Madden, I was 87 overall. And one of the key features were my speed and acceleration, 98 and 97. And here's my juke move. All those moves that I worked in NCAA pretty much carried over. So 87 overall is not that bad. And this is how the draft happened. I clicked on calendar. And I didn't see anything happen. And I once I backed out, I noticed that I was drafted to the Indianapolis Colts. So it was pretty weird. Uh, it's pretty disappointing as well that they don't even have anything to, you know, uh, symbolize the NFL draft. So when I came to the depth chart, I noticed I was 87 overall. And compared to the other three backs, I was one of the best on the team. So this was good news. And I was drafted third round, 93rd overall. So a lot of good news because obviously I'm the star back on the team. I'm definitely going to start. But uh, one bad news is um, that Peyton Manning is obviously hurt. So without further ado, let's start my first game against Cincinnati. Ladies and gentlemen. So there we go. This was overall pretty disappointing footage because my quarterback was just doing the absolute most. So once again, I just want to, you know, just a little, you know, as we do my first ever handoff in the NFL, just a little, you know, quick summarization. I will not continue with this series. 
And this is pretty much it. This is the end to my journey. As you guys know, I already won a couple of championships in the NCAA. And here we are in the NFL draft. Third round overall selection. But once I got here, you know, this quarterback right here, Orlovsky, I guess, was just throwing a ball out of bounds left and right. I mean, he did find me for a couple of plays. As you can see here, stepping back once again and just launches a ball with, like, all these cornerbacks uh, right there. But he just... Doesn't even care. He just launches the ball. And here, a couple more plays for me. I get one reception right here. And then once again, stepping back here, another reception. And for those that are checking out the scoreboard right now, 24-0 to with two minutes remaining. As you guys see, this one is pretty much over. And I got to say, if it wasn't for the Superstar mode in Madden, I would have definitely continued this series. But it's just overall really poor. So this is the end to my journey. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And hope you guys... Stay tuned for NCLA 13. It's definitely going to be pretty big. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you guys next time.